Welcome to the bronze medal match of the Elmira Winter Crokinole Classic. On your right, we have Andrew Hutchinson. On your left, we have Travis Keener. These two combatants sadly were unsuccessful in their semifinal match. Keener losing to Justin Slater, Hutchinson losing to Connor Ryman. That finals match will be coming out very soon on our channel, so if you didn't like, share, subscribe already, what are you waiting for? All right, we, let's get to the action here as Keener has the hammer advantage in the first round. Hutchins gonna be looking to convert on this off and the 20, giving himself that lead in the 20s cup. Keener, oh wow, what a rude bounce back. Let's see if Hutchinson's able to, nope. Left that a little bit short. Keener may be able to get the off and the 20 to even things in that 20 cup. That gets the 20, not the takeout. Can Hutchinson make him pay for that mistake? He cannot, excuse me, he cannot. Not only does he not sc score the 20, he leaves a hanger. Keener, unable to convert on that. Nice follow through, a little too much so. Keener with the advantage, likely to be very happy to stay on the outside. Hutchinson's black button is a five on his side, so if we'll see if Hutchinson may look to peel because if play continues out there, he is pretty much hooped. Yeah, not surprised at that. Even if he was able to roll it down into the five, if he left an opportunity for Keener to roll up into the 10 with his final shot, he's pretty much dead to rights. So Hutchinson hoping for an opportunity to either hide. It looks like he's setting up for the hide. Yes, that is a nice hide. Keener gives him a kind of a nod of, yup, you bugger, <laughs> you left me a tough one. <laughs> Exploring all his options. <laughs> Yeah, he just wanted a second crack at that. That last shot was obviously, uh, did not matter. That was just uh, just for fun. Hutchinson secures the first two points in this race to nine third place match. <laughs> Round two, Keener first to act, drains that open 20. <laughs> See if the players can find their range now. A little long. Hutchinson content to just have the takeout there. As he has the hammer advantage in this, they're tied in the 20 cup. If he can keep it away from a 20s race, he will be quite happy. Keener's going to be doing everything he can to either draw a mistake out of Hutchinson or get a 20 himself. Nice hit and stick by Hutchinson, although he may have left an opportunity for Keener to use a post to his advantage. Said it in the semifinal match, but I'm going to say it again. I'm pretty impressed with Keener. He is taking his time, exploring his options. He doesn't seem nervous. And, uh, yeah, sometimes sometimes players get in a bit of a rush, but you see him when there's time. He's not a slow player. It's not what I'm suggesting by any means. But when there's, a, when there's an opportunity or, or a shot that requires some decision, he takes his time, thinks about it, is very, uh, is very thoughtful about what shot he chooses to make. Tough takeout for Hutchinson. He's choosing to go over the center hole because his option, the other angle was probably going to have him drive Keener's disc straight into a post. Keener content to hit and stick. I don't know if he was trying to hide behind, but uh, pretty simple shot for Hutchinson to leave things right between the pegs. Keener again giving that nod of, yep, you're, uh, you're leaving me in a tough spot here, buddy. Deciding whether he's going to try to do a takeout and hide or go for a follow through 20. Either would be an amazing shot. If he can pull either of those off successfully, that is a, yeah. Going for the hide, it's, uh, it's not the best hide, but that is certainly a missable shot. Tied in the 20 cup, Hutchinson needs to not only get the off, or at least demote it down to a five, he also needs to keep a shooter on or else it's a tie round. Nice. Hutch 
Hutchinson takes a 4-0 lead in this race to nine. First to act in this third round. Oh, comes up a little short, leaving Keener a backboard. Keener unable to convert. Just finished complimenting for taking him his, taking his time, and he may have rushed that one just a little bit. Hutchinson pushes for that follow through 20. A little too strong. Yeah, tied in the 20 cup. Keener likely happy to hit and stick, keep things back. Oh, that is not what he wanted. Didn't get the off, and he left Hutchinson. Let's see if he's going to go for the takeout 20 or just a touch. Went for the touch, did not convert. Interesting situation setting up here. Keener likely content to get that takeout there. I'm going to be the armchair coach at this point and say that would be wiser to take that lower one and less chance of setting Hutchinson up for a double if there's a if there's a, a black oh <laughs> wow this armchair coach is going to shut his mouth and enjoy the action I did not see that double fantastic shot by Keener he's got himself in a good position here he needs a takeout and not create an opportunity for Hutchinson to drain a 20. <laughs> Competitors enjoying a bit of a chuckle here. Not sure what that was about, but they both thought it was funny, so they can't both be wrong. Keener ready to act now. Wow. Yikes. Uh, yeah, you have to laugh at that shot. You can laugh or cry. No one wants to cry on camera. So let's see if Hutchinson is able to make him pay. Keener secures the takeout. If Hutchinson's able to keep this play back on his side of the board, he's going to be in pretty good shape. Yeah, that should be all right. The... Uh, it would be quite a fancy shot for Keener to be able to create a, any sort of peg action off of that leave. Just hoping, uh, just brought that back in a little bit, hoping for a better opportunity with his final shot of the round. Hutchinson left that in a pretty good spot. Keener pointed that peg to the left. That's what he's going to try to utilize after the take. Oh, ho, ho. great attempt. Oh, that, yeah, highlight reel for sure. Fantastic double take out there. Hutch with the clutch 20. Yes. Travis right back on track. Even though he's down 6-0 in this race to nine. Oh, no. Hutchinson goes way long. Let's see if Keener can make him pay. Absolutely. Keener quickly out to a 220 advantage in this round. Hutchinson. Unlucky lip out there. Keener makes him pay up 320s. Hutchinson is still mathematically in this round, but he's got an uphill battle ahead of him. He needs to uh, he needs Keener to make some mistakes or he's hooped. That's a technical term. <laughs> I, I think Hutchinson <laughs> just, just missed his 20 and then apologized. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, he was apologizing because Keener maybe was on track for a perfect round, but how Canadian is that? Yeah. Very good. Fantastic shooting on Keener's Pirate, able to convert six 20s until uh, Hutchinson just did him completely wrong and uh, missed his open 20 in such a way that <laughs> it didn't leave Travis much of a chance to convert. Ooh, tough start for Hutchinson. Hutchinson up 6-2 in this race to nine. Keener quickly converts on that. Hutchinson refines his range. 
Keener misses this time. That is not what Hutchinson was looking for. Although not the worst because he is set up for a future shot. But uh, yeah, I'm sure that's not what he was going for. He would have been going for an off. See if Keener's content to just hit and stick. It looks like he is trying to see if there is any way he can get an off as well as disrupt that setup that Hutchinson has left for himself. He's considering going through his own. That's pretty risky. Tried to pull back. This still isn't terrible. If Hutchinson's able to convert that, which I'm guessing he will, Keener just needs to make the open 20 back, and they're right back in the same position. With Keener having the, Keener having the hammer advantage, if he's able to secure this 20, which he is, he's still in good shape. He's got hammer, and he's got one on. Now the pressure's on... Hutchinson, <laughs> oh, pressure, yep. <laughs> Keener filing a complaint for that nasty PAG 20 that Hutchinson just made. See what we've got here. Keener's down a 20, but he has the hammer. Something exciting's happening off to the side. Lots of other pools, uh, finals, semifinals, other matches going on in the same area as we had uh, the competitive division had an A, a B, and a C in the afternoon. There was 22 recreational players. There's also a Q's division, which isn't normal at NCA events, but this is that's one of the special things about the Elmira Winter Classic. We actually had a Q's division that had 16 or 17 competitors. Back to this action. Keener trying to make something happen here. If Hutchinson's able to secure this off, he's going to be in very good position. Yes, he is in fantastic shape. Keener needs two off and a 20 to tie this round. And uh, you never say never, but he's certainly, it's certainly not a nice looking opportunity. Let's put it that way. If he can make this happen, it'll be the shot of the year. I know it's only January, but that's still pretty impressive. <laughs> And still, I appreciate this. There are players who look at this and go, oh, I don't have a chance, and they would just shoot their last disc and call it a day. Keener is exploring every option, and that's what you will see great players do. Great players will make something out of nothing. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to hanging out with Traver, Travis at future events. I'm not necessarily looking forward to having to compete against him because, uh, yeah, fantastic player. Does make it tough on the commentator having to fill dead space while we wait for him to make that shot. But look at this highlight shot from Hutchinson. Absolute money. He needed to make it, and he did. He takes a commanding 8-2 lead in this race to 9, and he has the hammer in this round. Keener starts out with a 20 and converts on Hutchinson's mistake. Hutchinson leaves him another backboard. Maybe trying to make up for disrupting his perfect round from a couple of rounds ago. There, Hutchinson finds his range. Travis returning the favor. Letting Hutchinson back in this a little bit. Keener with the 120 advantage. Hutchinson with the hammer. Let's see what Travis goes for here. If he, Oh, he did push for the follow through 20. Hutchinson wisely peels everything, forces Keener back to the middle, hoping for a mistake out of him, does not get it. Keener has secured this round. He's doing the math. Secures another 20, just uh, in your face, Hutchinson. I'm joking. He just uh, secured one more 20 for five in that round.
Hutchinson to start this round. Keener gives himself some life. Brought it back to an eight to four score. Let's see if Keener pushes for the fall. Yeah, he pushed for it. Did not get the follow through. We'll see if Hutchinson's able to convert on. Oh, didn't get the off or the 20. That's tough. Keener in good position on this one. If he's able to secure this, yep. Two on with the hammer. He's in good shape. Hutchinson's going to be looking for some more Peggy Sue action. Nice circus 20 off a of peg. Good attempt. Exp oh, he wanted that takeout. And Keener wanted that double. I expect Keener's going to peel and force Hutchinson. Unless, nope, he chose to hit and stick. He must, uh, yeah. He, from the, I was that was smart. Hitting and sticking there meant that Hutchinson didn't have a very good angle in. There's the mistake Hutchinson was looking for. Oh, unable to convert. Keener in good shape now. Three on. That seals it. So from eight to two, Keener has fought this back to eight six. Hutchinson with the hammer in this round. We'll see if the momentum can continue for Keener. Possibly it can as Hutchinson goes long. Keener drops to the side. Oh, unable to. I, I think he was going for a follow through 20 there. It's kind of worst case scenario as he's left Hutchinson set up and he's also did not get the off. So yeah, Hutchinson converts that and now Keener has this one out in the five that he has to go after. He's likely to peel, which then opens up the door obviously for Hutchinson to have another open 20. Getting the off is so critical in situations like that. Even if he had left Hutchinson set up, if he had gotten the off, then after Hutchinson converted, he would have had an open board. Whereas this case, he's now down in the 20 count against the hammer. A little long on that 20 attempt. <laughs> Yikes. Yep, the cardinal sin. Yeah, the players both the players both having a good chuckle. Neither of them wants to cry on camera, so they're choosing to laugh at it. I will say I, I have to express some sympathy because it, it can be tough after losing a semifinal match to try to refocus and get energized for a third place match. They obviously they want the third place NCA points. They want the third place money. We're all here for the money, but uh, after after the disappointment, it can be disappointing to lose that semifinal match, and it can be tough to to really refocus and, and bring forth your best effort. But uh, even with that said, these both of these players have made some fantastic shots in this match. Keener, we'll see if he's gonna go. Yeah, I think he was pushing for a follow through there. Yeah. He's in a tough spot at this point. He is down a 20 against the hammer. He needs two off and a 20 to make Hutchinson shoot. And inconsequential shot here at the end. That seals the deal. Andrew Hutchinson goes down as the third place finisher. Travis Keener with a fantastic showing. Incredibly tough field. I hope he feels good and is proud of himself for an amazing, amazing tournament. Thanks for watching. The finals is coming at you real soon. Make it a great day.